Testing, testing. Here we are, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Space, the final frontier. I am Captain Frank Lee English, and these are the voyages of the starship HMSS Imperialize. Our mission? To explore strange new worlds, to seek out new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Rousing stuff, Captain English, sir. <laughs> you really think so? I was afraid it would sound a little bit cliched. Uh, the last thing I'd want would be for anyone listening to think that was going to be representative of the quality of all our dialogue throughout this entire voyage. Perhaps it's best not to heighten expectations too early on, Boyo. Yes, Jones. A healthy dose of self-deprecation should neutralize the mildly xenophobic nature of the mission we've been tasked with by Her Majesty, Queen of Great Britain and of the Commonwealth Realms. Yeah, so long as we can avoid resorting to trite nationalistic jokes, we should be fine. Yes, I absolutely agree, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Well, I'm past. Who's for tea? You stay here at the controls, Jones, while I navigate to the ship's kitchen facilities to acquire a refreshing beverage. The walk will give me the chance to familiarize myself with the intuitive navigation system. Can you grab us a cup, too? Certainly, Jones. It will be my pleasure and as good a reason as any to practice using the intuitive inventory system. I'll be on my way now, just as soon as I choose to exit this chair. I appear to have activated some sort of... Oh! I appear to have activated some sort of context-sensitive menu. I should select the appropriate option illustrated by these exquisite icons. Now, to find the kitchen. If memory serves me correct, it's just down this corridor, beyond the fourth wall. It's a standard-issue second-hand treadmill, complete with squeaky belt, broken headphone jack, and the thin coating of a stranger's sweat. just yet.
Of course, it lacks the precision of a mouse and keyboard. Hmm. There appears to be something stuck in the drive. Gosh. No matter how many times I keep clicking on things, this drive won't become unblocked. I'll have to think of something else. Cutting edge 20th century tech. It's for my Rosie Lee. Sorry, Cockney Crockery. It's an inconspicuous economy toaster. I'll just get piping hot tea all over my hands. And I didn't enjoy that the first time. It really takes the misery out of making tea. It's salad's mug, isn't it? Best not. It's filled to capacity. Of course, the downside of having a sentient being responsible for making the tea is that every so often it forgets how much milk to add. What are your prime directives? I don't suppose you've kept in touch with Matilda or any of the other house robots? Why? It's packed to the rafters with mild English cheddar. Plenty to share. Best leave some space for alternative dairy produce. It's a fridge. I don't believe the isolation of space has forced me to talk to the furniture just yet. Any danger of making that tea, Boyo? Awfully sorry for the delay. Never mind, Boyo. How did you manage to carry it in there without spilling any? Well, I've just been very careful. Ever since that whole Deepwater Horizon incident. I don't really have anywhere to set this. 
You wouldn't take over the controls from it until I finish. Wouldn't want to spill anything over these expensive electronics. Ha! Huh, but of course! Why, if such a thing were to happen, we'd have a real puzzle on our hands! Just go easy. Keep it steady. Yes. Okay, right. Oh, okay. Starter fuel cell jettisoned. Venting reserve oxygen supply. Flight safe mode disabled. Yeah. Oh no no. No. Uh. Commencing cabin deep Ooh. flight safe uh. mode. Oh. Life support no. systems uh. offline. Right. Right. Opening rear cargo right. doors. Oh, oh. Didn't expect that. Uh. Mm. Life oh. support uh. systems offline. Daisy, Daisy, give me your hands. Holy cow! What you've done! I told you to keep it steady! Good heavens! What a waste of perfectly good tea! I think we should be more concerned about the irreparable damage done to the ship's steering system. Both problems, by the way, are your fault. Look, obviously, the controls weren't calibrated to account for my superior strength. They were more sensitive than a pubescent poet. Regardless, we'll have plenty of time to argue about this now that we're stranded. Unless, of course, we can replace the controls with something else. When you say we... I mean the royal we. I'll sort this out. Don't move. I don't want you dribbling on anything else. Honestly, you're worse than the elderly. I'm afraid I've nothing useful to hand. If I do that, I'll have to go on a course. Here, plug this in. See if it works. Uh, that isn't going to be much use without batteries, boyo. What? Aren't they included? And remove a superfluous hurdle present simply to prolong a problem you've long since figured out? Huh. When is that ever the case? Sub Lieutenant Jones! Aye, boyo? Surely it would take more than a splash of Earl Grey to halt this ship, the zenith of British aeronautical engineering. You could always give the control column a quick alternating input along the x-axis, just to ascertain if it is indeed no longer functional. You mean jiggle the joystick left and right? Isn't that what I said? Your sister's studying in Swansea. Been down recently? Not to visit her. A few of us went camping around the Gower though. It's lovely the further out to the city you go. Yes. The further the better. Would you like me to go find you a towel to dry off? N no rush, boyo. I'm enjoying this warm, moist sensation. Reminds me of simpler times huddled in my mother's womb. Gosh, I can hardly remember what I was doing five minutes ago, let alone during my embryonic youth. Well, it was a lot longer ago for you, boyo. 
Hey, I'm still down with the kids. Chillax Holmes. Me and my crew keeping it radical, man. OMG, feel totes orky for you. Don't mind me. It's Wales' own son, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Best stow this for now. I would do well to study these closely in case of an emergency, like we're stranded immobile in space. I'll have to take a closer look at these safety instructions for peace of puzzle. I mean mind. Peace of mind. Why, the humble paperclip, a staple of any adventure gamer's inventory. No doubt you'll soon be broken and forced into a situation you'll find uncomfortable. The story of many a man. That leads out of the cockpit. I can't use these two together. I don't believe the isolation of space has forced me to talk to the furniture just yet. I doubt combining these two will prove to be particularly useful. There's been a slight infestation. The lower decks are on lockdown. It's an informative map displaying the many high-definition areas aboard Her Majesty's spaceship Imperialized. Now, let's see. It's a map of the ship. Lest we forget where everything is seven months into the mission. That leads into the bedroom. doesn't strike me as much of a talker. Without the right tools for the job, I'm not risking it. Uh, I'm prone to stage fright with an audience. to be stuck. With great power comes great responsibility. I'm sure there's a more practical use for this.
Have you found something to replace the controls you broke yet? It's Alad, the Lewis to my Morse. We'll agree to disagree about that. Sub Lieutenant Jones! Aye, boyo? Don't mind me! The paperclip. The adventure gamer's staple. I think it would be best if I did something else with this. It's not the worst idea I've ever heard. I remember when they talked about... Why? The humble paperclip. A staple of any adventure gamer's inventory. It's a new packet of batteries. Full of potential. Leads into the cockpit. The only inanimate object I tend to chat to is Sub Lieutenant Jones. Here, plug this in, see if it works. No joy, boyo. What? Is it supposed to be plug and play? No, boyo. You'll have to install the drivers first. Well, can't you just download them in here? The Wi-Fi can't reach this part of the ship. Try getting online in one of the other rooms. See if you can download the drivers onto something and bring it here. I suppose you'll just be sitting here in the meantime. That's how the genre works, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it is broke, well, it's probably a tedious puzzle to fix it. I like the chap, but not in that way. We're a tad under-resourced to be attempting that at the moment. Do you have that driver for me? The seat of power. I wouldn't know what to say. To download this driver, I just need to connect to the internet first. Bingo! Found it! Hmm, very odd. It won't let me save onto the disk. I appear to be caught short. I have nothing to use. Let's see if prodding this around fixes anything. Aha! I can't seem to save onto it for some reason. Cutting edge 20th century tech. I can't seem to save onto it for some reason.
I'm afraid I've nothing you... Fantastic! Now to quickly copy this driver. Sorry, oh, gosh, is that the time? It'll be starting to get dark outside. Best check up on Alec and see if he's dried off. It's remarkable how much information can be stored on something so compact. That leads into the bedroom. That sort of stuff isn't tolerated in the workplace. Sub-Lieutenant Jones! Sub-Lieutenant Jones! Allard! Wake up! Wake up, Allard! Oh, this is useless. He'll be out for hours unless I can think of another way to wake him up. <coughs> What's going on? What are you playing at, Boyo? I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It felt like someone else was in control of my inhibitions. Just give me the driver so we can GTFO. GTFO? Get things functioning and online. You need to swat up in your acronyms, FFS. For future scenarios. We're a tad under-resourced to be attempting that at the moment. Here, install this, and we should be underway again. Uh, you could have used my USB pen, you know. What? Is that another one of your acronyms I'm supposed to know? What? Universal Serial Bus? Ha! <laughs> serial Bus. <laughs> I know you're just making that one up. Um, well, Boyo, I've got some good news and some bad news. Which one do you want first? Give me the grim, demoralizing reality first, then ensure I quickly forget its severity with a light-hearted human interest tale, preferably involving a cat and a musical instrument. All right, Boyo. Well, the bad news is that before this driver will work, one of us is going to have to descend into the dark depths of the ship to perform the emergency systems reset procedure. You mean turn everything off and on again? Yes, but the good news is it's a one-person job, so only one of us will have to do it. Yeah, presumably I'll be the one doing the legwork, as usual. Well, if you want, we could make it seem like you had a choice in the matter. Here, we'll flip for it. Heads or tails? Tails never fails. It's heads. Blast! I can't help but feel that somehow that was always going to happen. What fates impose that men must needs abide, it boots not to resist both wind and tide. Gosh! The writing on this voyage just stepped up a level. That was borderline Shakespeare. Aye, borderline. Right, I'm off. <laughs>